Hello everyone, welcome to Clash Encoder. So in this video, we will see the question that is rotate matrix elements clockwise. So this is a different question than a rotator matrix. So this is basically a medium level question and it can be asked in an interview as a variation of rotate matrix clockwise or anti-clockwise. So let's see the problem statement. Then I will explain you how we can solve this question uh, using up uh, algorithm. Then we will I will show you the code. So let's see and uh, dive into the problem statement. So actually the input that we are given is a matrix. So you can see we are given a 2D matrix and it is a, actually a 4 by 4 matrix. So this uh, the, there is no constraint that it, it is an even matrix or an odd matrix so it can be even length or it can be odd length so let's see so in this matrix you can see this is the input so we given 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 7 8 and similarly till 16 and our output is actually you can see 5 1 2 3 so this seems a bit confusing but you can see uh, read the statement it is rotate matrix elements clockwise so we don't have to rotate actual matrix we have to rotate the elements so actually if you see here here the 5 here has come at place of 1 and 1 has come at place of 2 and 2 has come at place of 3 you can see 5 is at place of 1 and 1 is at place of 2 and 2 is at place of 3 so similarly we will keep moving this element so you can see they are actually rotating by one element we have to rotate them by one element and you can see this 4 has come at place of 8 and 8 at uh, 12 and you can see 8 at 12 and 12 at 16 place then 15 and similarly you can see so this is like this and now you can see 6 7 so here you can see 6 uh, here 10 has come at place of 6 you can see so this will also go sim in similar way you can see 10 has come to 6th place and 6 has come to 7th place and 7 has come to 12th uh, sorry 11th place you can see and 11 has come to 10th place so this is how we have to uh, actually uh, we, uh, this is actually the problem statement and this is how we have to solve the question so you can see we, we are given the matrix and we have to rotate every element by one step in a clockwise direction so actually clockwise is like this you know that clockwise is uh, this and this is anti-clockwise so we have to solve in clockwise direction and we have to return the matrix or uh, original matrix we have to only use constant space because we have to return the same uh, original matrix by own, uh, modifying it and rotating the elements clockwise so you can see this is the problem and here also one more case arises as i told you there is no constraint on the input so it can input matrix size so it can be of even length or it can be of odd length also it can be of like length 3 so if a matrix is of length 3 so let's see if a matrix if is of length 3 so it will not have these elements so you can see this is our input matrix assume this is our input matrix so here the output should be actually one should come at two's place so here five will be here you can see five then it will be one then three and then you this 3 will come here so it will come here at this place and 7 will come at 11th place so you can see this is rotating so this is actually rotating in this way you can see and then the internal elements are rotating in this way they are all rotating in this way now here the case arises when the matrix is of odd size so as i told you in the even size matrix all the elements will rotate so these this ring will you can see this ring will rotate then this ring will be rotate but in a even uh, even length matrix here you can see the oh, sorry the, in a odd length matrix so you can see there are odd number of rows and columns so here this outer will rotate okay this outer will rotate but you can see here the only single element is left so this element will stay at it uh, as uh, sorry at its original position you can see this 6 will not rotate if it is like this even length matrix so here all the elements will rotate there will be no element on its same position but in other odd length matrix the mid, mid, middle element actually you can see will be at its original position so you can see and here the similar output will be you can see 11 has come here so you can see 3 has come here and 7 has come here and 11 here 10 here and 9 here and 5 you can see here and 6 is still here so this is how our output will look for this uh, odd or length matrix so let's see how we can solve this question actually so as i told you uh, as i have also drawn the visualization you can see actually we are trying to uh, let me uh, write it here so you can see we are actually trying to rotate the elements so let's assume this is our input matrix okay let's assume this is our input matrix actually so this is our input matrix so here what we are trying to do is we have to take all the elements in this way all the outer elements in this way so we have to derive an algorithm which will rotate this matrix iteration by iteration so first we will rotate all the outer elements you can see by one we will rotate all the outer elements by one then we will our decrease our bounds or this limits and we will come into this matrix this sub matrix and we will rotate it now it will also rotate into the similar fashion so we will have to derive algorithm which okay which starts with this outer bounds 
that is this this is the row and this is the uh, ending row and this is the ending column oh sorry this is the ending row or oh, starting row and this is the ending row and this is the starting column and the end column and then we will rotate our matrix so what we will do is let me raise this so what we'll do you can see we have started with the first row and the last row and the first column and the last column first we will rotate all these elements then we will increase our row so it will come here and we will decrease over this last column and increase our last column and decrease our last row so now our sub matrix will be this so you can see these pointers will be left these four pointers these two and this two so now we will rotate this so we have to do in this fashion so let's see the algorithm actually so what we are going to do for this will be this matrix we are given okay now as i told you we have to rotate the uh, matrix in order by order or you can say level by level so we will rotate first the outer elements then the inner elements so i have taken intentionally i have taken this uh, this odd length example because even length will be simple so i will take explain you the odd length because there are two cases as i told you for the even the matrix the code will be actually uh, there will be a condition and for odd there will be another condition so let's see so as i told you we have to rotate the elements so what we have to do is before rotating the elements we have to keep track of element if we take this four at this one position so one we will have to save this one because we cannot lose any element we are using or we are updating on the same modifying or the same matrix original array or matrix so that is why we'll have to same uh, save some element so as i told you we will uh, use four pointers actually to you can see bounds so you can see this row is the starting row it is zero and the starting column so it will be this zero and the last row will be actually two here you can see zero one and two so last row is this and last column is this we will use four pointers and now what we will do is we will save this element this element because we have to put it into one uh, one position we will first of all save this element into our previous so our previous is initially zero so we will save four into previous now what we are going to do is we will run a loop for from this for zero row for zero row we will run a loop from column this zero till this last column so last column is here is here actually two and this is also two so we will run a loop from column zero till two and what we will do is we will as i told you we'll have this previous variable and now we are going to save this current variable will have the value of one because as i told you before uh, before updating this value we will have to save this value because we have to use it uh, for the other, other index so we'll save this one into current so current will come here okay current will have one value and now we will override this one by four so the current element so as we will traverse so it will be actually matrix so let's suppose it will be matrix and it will be the row is zero so first it will be row and then it will be actually i so i will be the loop that we have used to traverse over the columns so it i will be the actually columns so it will keep updating so m is actually zero and column is zero so we will save this value one into the current and we will update this value to this value to four so that is previous so we'll update it to previous so now it will be updated to previous now we have to uh, we have used actually previous so this is our this has become our current value or previous value actually one has become our previous value so we have overwritten this as four now our previous value will be updated to current so we will have to form three we have perform three steps so first we will run a loop then we will get the value of this so we'll get this value the the matrix that we are on so index that we are on will save its value into the current variable then we will update this value as the previous because previous was the value that we have to override on this particular index so then we will have to update our previous value because we have already overwritten this four on this one's position so this four will actually be updated to one because now now our one is previous so now we have to carry forward our one to this two's position so now our current will be two so when will be at this index in this loop so current will be two actually so current is two now so we have to like update this value to one previous so this uh, will be updated to one and now our previous will be updated as we have already overwritten this value in at the two posi two's position so this will be updated to two so it will come here now our current will be actually three you can see so we will be uh, updating this value so it previous so it will become two you can see as i told you it previous value will be overwritten on this particular index and its value will be saved into previous so it its value is actually three so like this we have got previous so now what we are going to do is but now as we know we have traversed this row so this row will be automatically cancelled so this will be cancelled and to cancel this what we have to do is we will increment our uh, yeah, this row pointer so this row will become actually one because we have traversed zero row so we are not going to increment our column so we have to uh, we have actually traversed our first row so we are in going to increment this pointer so it will be removed and it will be incremented so actually it will become at uh, this position so now what we are going to do is as i told you we have overwritten this value so it has become four and here it has become one here it has become two and we have have three as the previous value so again similarly we will run a loop starting from row so row is one we will run a loop from row 
till this uh, last row so last row is 2 so it will run for this uh, these elements so now again we are going to update this value so it will be updated to the previous value it is 3 and this previous value will have this current value current value is, was 6 here so it will be updated to 6 so now again for this element 9 will be saved into current then we will update the previous value so it will be uh, written over written here so 6 has come here so now our current will be updated so actually it will become uh, sorry so now our this last pointer so actually you can see we have traversed the last column also so you can see we have uh, updated our last column value so again it will be updated so it this last column has been updated and this has been updated so matrix has been you can see 4 1 2 and 3 and 6 so now we will update this last pointer so it will be updated so it will come at this point so similarly we will keep modifying this and uh, modifying this array using the current and the previous very current and the previous variable and we will use this uh, for uh, this uh, pointers actually so let's see the code then i will explain you the uh, this again with the code so let's see so here as i told you so this is simply uh this you can see we have got the input as a matrix so then we have called for this function and this four and four are the, actually the number of rows and columns so here you can see so these are actually n and m so here i have initialized four pointers actually you can see so these are the first pointers that is row and the column so they are actually initialized to zero the index so you can see then we have initialized this previous and current pointer that we will be using for updating the values then we have initialized the last row and the last column so actually last row is n and last column is m so it, it is uh, 4 in this uh, okay this example for this example and we will run a loop while as i told you we will, un, uh, we will have to run a loop while the first pointer you can see row pointer is less than equal to this current uh, sorry last row so these pointers should not be actually like the row is at this point and the last row is at this point it should be not like they should uh, cross each other they should not be like this so they should stay in this position only this should be less than the last pointer so that so that is why we will a loop while you can see here so row is less than the last row and the column is less than the last column then we will keep checking uh, in every iteration if the row plus one is equal to equal to last so here the last row is actually you can see last row is actually two oh sorry it is three actually so because we have not subtracted it so n is here four as it told you for this example it is four but for this example it is three so we have passed as it is so it should be running till row is less than this three row plus one so actually row plus one because row is um, uh, row is over zero so it is zero based and this three is actually one based so we are checking if it is less than so it should be less than only if it gets greater than so that means we have traversed our matrix and we have modified all the elements so we don't need to go further so we will simply break this uh, from from this condition and we will simply print our matrix so output matrix actually so let's see what we are going to do now as i told you first of all we will save this previous element so in this matrix so let's see this example so uh, actually let me uh, write, write this example so yeah so you can see first of all we will save this value this previous value will be saved so previous uh, on this example let's see on this only so here you can see this is the matrix that we given so our previous value will be saved here so previous value is this we will save this 4 into previous value so it will be actually i is 0 this row is 0 so row plus 1 so row plus 1 will be this one so one row and zeroth column will be save, uh, saving this 4 value and then you can see we have saved this four value in this into this previous variable and we are running a for loop for loop will run from i is equal to column so column is zero column is zero it will run from this point to this point that is last column from i is equal to column to i, I like less than last column so it will run until that point and it will as i told you current will be uh, having this value that we have to override so one will be saved into current and then we will override this one value with a previous value that we have to put here so we will write it there and then as we have used you can see matrix row and i we will be updating it with the previous value so this has been updated now we have to update our previous variable because its value has been written so we'll update it to the current variable at the this position uh, we have overwritten the value so one will be saved into our pre previous variable again now as we have traversed this row so our pointers will increment so let me erase this so when we have traversed this row our this row has been modified so we don't have to take care of this so now our this row point which was zero will increment it will come to one so it will come here now and our last column and first column and last row are at same position so now we will have to run for this column okay we will have to run for this column three six and nine so we have to modify these values as we know we, our previous variable at the end of this loop first loop will have value as three so it has value as three previous variable now again we will run a loop you can see for i is equal to rows so row is at this position till it will run from from six to nine so okay i will run from one to two here so it will run from this and again we will save our current variable you can see 
column last column minus one because we have to map it to the zeroth index as i told you it is simply having the value of n so we have to take n minus one actually if you don't want to use this so it will be actually you can see we will save the current value so we'll save this sixth value six value into the current and we will put uh, the previous value in place of this so it will be three actually now we have uh, used the three variable uh, three value that is in the previous so we'll simply update our previous so previous will be, previous will be updated to the value where uh, we have written over overwrite the three so it will be six actually so previous will be updated to six you can see so now as we know we have traversed the last column at this point so after this loop we have traversed the last column so we don't need to take care of this so now we will simply uh, the, we can see we will simply increment this pointer so it will be incremented oh sorry decremented this last column pointer is at two so it will be decremented minus minus so it will become at one so you can see now we have been left with this matrix this sub matrix actually you can see so last column minus minus so now we will as I told you, there are two conditions. If our uh, this our matrix is of even length, so if it is of even length, we have to modify all the elements. We have to move all the elements, so no element will be at its same position. But in the odd matrix, when our row and column, you can see this will be modified. But when our row and column come at same position, so if they come at same position, we don't have to modify the element. The middle element will stay it at 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 its position, original position. So that is why we have written the condition. If you can see that this, if a row is less than last row, so it should not be equal. It should be less than last row. If it is less than uh, last row, then only this case is for the odd. Actually, this case is for the odd matrix. So if the matrix is of size, uh, odd size, so this condition will not run. These two loops will not run. If it is of even size, then will, uh, this loop will run. So now in this same same loop, so we have the previous value. So you can see for this loop actually what we are going to do is as we know we have the previous variable in the pre uh, this previous uh, point actually this variable so what we are going to do is we are now again going to run a loop from it will run from uh, it will be uh, actually decrementing so this loop will start running from the last column so you can see last uh, column it is one it will run till column is greater than equal to you can see column is greater than equal to zero so here you can see it will run till i is greater than equal to sorry column so column is actually zero so as i told you so it will run for this element so these element so what again it will do is it will save the current element 8 into this current pointer and uh, this variable then previous value that is 9 will be overwritten on this position so it will be here so now as we have overwritten the 9 so we have to save the uh, value the current value 8 into the previous variable so it will be 8 so this has been updated again this for 7 the similar case will happen and 8 will be overwritten here and this 8 will be this previous variable will be updated to 7 you can see at the end of this loop we have traversed the last row so we have traversed the last row this row has been modified so now we are going to decrement our this uh, row pointer last row pointer so it will be decremented to one it will come at this point so as i told you this uh, this uh, is a odd length matrix so here you can see this loop will be uh, this condition will be actually no, not row you can see it will not run because both the pointers at uh, are at same position so this condition will not run and here you, we have got our output you can see we have got our out output as we have modified these values so it has become one two and three so you can see uh, six and then uh, here it is uh, sorry i've written uh, input matrix only so let me erase it so this is the matrix that we will get so actually it will run for the last loop sorry i forgot it so it will run for the last condition because as i told you as i told you here you can see this four has to be written over it and here this uh, a, a seven we have in the previous variable should be overwritten at this position so this uh, loop will actually run for this part and it overwrite this seven into this fourth position so as i ho uh, hope uh, i hope you got the code actually so you can see again i will give you a brief summary actually for this actually we have uh, initialized you can see previous and current variables for storing the values and modifying the values in the matrix then i have initialized four pointers that is row uh, first row first column and the last row and the last column and we will run a loop while the row is listed the last column you can see it will run till then and it will ch uh, check you can see last row so it will check if the row plus one is uh, equal to the column so we will simply break if this is uh, actually the bounds that we are checking for then we'll save the previous value of the, this this previous will be uh, will be saved actually this current previous value so you can see i plus one so i zero so it will be this and column is actually zero so it will this will be saved and we will run a loop for this first of all this row then we will run a loop for this uh, last column then we'll run a loop for this then for this and then for the inner ones so you can see these are the four loops that we are using and this is the condition that we will check for the odd and even matrix if it is odd so it will not run and if it is even so if it will run so this is the condition that we are checking what row is less than a column you can see and this is a similar code as i told you these four groups are almost similar but it, they are running for the different actually elements so again uh, we will simply print at the output you can see so let's hope uh, it will run so i will run this code so you can see this is the input matrix actually so output will be shown here so just a second
running actually so you can see this output is has been shown you can see one three two uh, one two three four and you can see it has been overwritten by five one and three uh, five one two three and then four has come at the eighth position and similarly they have all rotated by uh, one position and clockwise so this was a code actually i will also provide the code in the description you can check the code from there i hope you got the solution and the time complexity for this will be approximately n square and the space will be constant because we are not uh, using any output matrix we are simply modifying the uh, input matrix that we are given so thank you for watching guys do like this video and subscribe channel for more such videos.